Yes. Awesome. Okay. So now, yep. Click the green one, hit conversions. And you know what we have? Yeah. The custom audience is already in there. So we're, we're good with that. So let's just scroll down and then let's just give our, our titles, give, give each one a name. So hit that drop down, and we'll just, we can simply put in um, retargeting. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll put in, put in, um, yeah, put in, put in the, the name of the list and then just put conversions. Ooh. Or you know what? I'm so sorry. We'll do that on the ad set level. We'll do that on the second step, but this one, the ad, the name of the ad, the name of the video, I should say, the name of the video. Yeah, so this is always the name of the video. Um, and then in parentheses, you'll put conversions. Perfect. And then the ad set, that's where we'll put, um, you can either put the name, you can, you could put retargeting and then, and then the list retargeting and then whatever that, whatever you want to name that list. Um, oh God. Um, purchased or don't want to say bought purchased and I don't know what to put or list. What's the name of the list? Just, just put retargeting $85 list. Like whatever, like, you could just put title list, retargeting title list. Perfect. And then the ad, just same as the top. When will this crazy seller's market end video? You know, you could just put that. You don't have to put conversions. You could just put video. When will this crazy seller's market end video? Perfect. And that's it. And then oh, continue. Money no, no, whatever, whatever, whatever makes it easier for you to just look at it and know what that is, you know. So hit continue and then good. So now we'll just come back over here and choose the drop down for special ad category. And then you're, you're going with housing. And that's it. So housing. And then we'll scroll down and we'll always make sure the the CBO, the campaign budget optimization is off which it is, and then we'll just hit next. Okay, cool, and that, that's it, that's step one. So now step two, we're gonna come over here and um, your pixel is right there. So we'll scroll down, we'll make sure that our custom conversion is, is chosen. So go ahead and choose an event. That's where your custom conversion goes. So you'll click, you'll see your FSBO leads. That's your custom conversion. Click on that and then we'll scroll down and then off, off, and then the budget, just go ahead and go with $10 a day. Um, and just go, yeah, just go daily budget. That's fine. And then um, start date, go ahead and start it. Yeah, let's start it. Let's start it on, on, start it on Tuesday. I would start it on Tuesday. Start it on Tuesday, and then you'll go ahead and just go 4 a.m. And then just go ahead and, yeah, stretch it out seven days. That should be here, right? Yeah, perfect. All this stuff keep popping up, man. It's real distracting. Yeah, I know. Facebook, crazy. So right there, custom audiences. Go ahead and click in there, and you'll see that custom audience. Uh, I'll see what custom. Oh, this is it right here. Yep, there we go. Is that the list? That's the okay. customer list. Yep. Okay, good. And then what you'll do is you'll always want to exclude um, FSBO leads, um, even if there's just one lead in there, like just always exclude it, get, just get in the habit of excluding that list. Um, yeah, that one. Right here. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now we'll just click out of there and then we'll scroll down in locations, go ahead and just type in, type in Oklahoma City people living in this location. Yeah, go with people living in this location and then just X out of the United States and then put in your city. Perfect, okay, cool. Okay, scroll down and then um, don't need age, gender. And you know what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, um, on the, Let's see, we're, we're retargeting an audience, but at the same time, we do want to, we do want to narrow it, narrow it in. Um, 
with the detailed targeting. So that detailed targeting, go ahead and click edit. And we're gonna, we're gonna simply add, go ahead and click in there, home improvement, home improvement. So anyone who has shown any interest or any activity on any type of website regarding home improvement, um, we want that keyword in there. And then we wanna click out, get rid of that drop down, so just click away. And then we're gonna narrow audience. We're gonna narrow it and we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna click in there and we're gonna go with renovation. So home improvement and renovation. Perfect. So we'll go with those two, those two keywords. So scroll down. How big was that list? Do you remember how many, how many records on it? 1500, I believe, something like that, approximate. Okay. So why don't we, why don't we take out those words then? Let's just take, let's take out, let's, we don't need to narrow anything then. If, it, if the list is that, cause that's not the biggest list. So we don't want to narrow it in any further. So let's just leave them out. We'll leave those words out. Okay, cool. Languages, you can, you can make that English. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to for sure go manual placement. Um, manual placement. So we'll get rid of automatic, just click on manual. And we're going to um, simply uncheck Instagram messenger audience network. And then we're going to, un we're going to leave the first one, which is the newsfeed. And we're going to pretty much uncheck everything else. You know what? Leave, leave marketplace, go ahead and leave marketplace, but uncheck. Yeah. Uncheck everything else. So the group feed, um, everything else, Facebook stories in stream, all that uncheck, all that. Keep going, keep going. That way our $10 per day is, is really focused on just that news feed because that's where all the attention is anyways. And in the marketplace, that's for people that are kind of looking and searching for things to buy or they're in the, they're in the buying mindset. So it's always good to keep it in the marketplace as well. So scroll down um, and we're good there. So now um, that's it. So now we're going to hit next and that's step two. So that's the ad set level. So now we're on this third step. And all we're going to do is just make sure that that's our page. Um, scroll down to add setup. And we're going to simply click on the drop down and go with use existing post. Yep. And then select post. Perfect. And then <clears throat> bidding wars. Perfect. Okay, cool. Continue. And then we're going to simply grab the link to your Kartra page, to your landing page. And that's where we'll put it in over here. So let's grab that link real quick. Okay, cool. So all we'll do is scroll down and then we're going to add a button. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then you'll scroll down and you'll always make sure that this box is checked website events. Sometimes it's checked, sometimes it's not. So you'll always want to make sure that's checked because that shows your pixel. That's the pixel we're rocking with. And then um, the default offline one, and that's it. And then we hit publish. And then you can always, you know, take a look at, at it in, in, in the newsfeed. Once it publishes, you can just take a quick, um, I love that color. That color just stands out that yellow. Thank you. <laughs> you, got that, you got that look, D. I mean, I'm telling you, like when you can just focus in on a, on an area, like we're focusing in on 15 miles, like mm -hmm. people in that area, they they keep seeing you, like yes. like like at leads that are coming in. That's one thing, but as I mentioned before, the the value and the and and the overall branding that you're actually getting on the back end, which we can't even calculate because mm -hmm. I don't even know how to calculate that. Just the, the exposure, right? Just the exposure that's priceless. Like I really believe more people in that area know you than you, than you, than you know, than you, than you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Like most people do. Like there's so many people that, that are seeing this right here that aren't clicking on it, but they're seeing you, they keep seeing you and there's value in that, yeah. you know? So, and that's, that, that's one huge reason why I, 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 I believe, well, actually, no, I, I don't, I don't actually, let me rephrase that. Um, 
some people think this way, some people, some people don't. Some people just foolishly throw out money at, at this type of a marketing strategy. And what I'm what I'm referring to is a billboard. Like a billboard. <laughs> like I like down here in my in my area of San Diego, I was driving, I was driving to go get something to eat just a couple of days ago. And I see a real estate agent's face on a billboard, right? This guy, this this guy named I don't even want to say his name. I don't even know him, but but mm-hmm. his face was on a billboard. And and I already know there's not there's not much ROI on that. I know that for a fact. Like, and he spent a shitload. Anyone that put their face on a billboard spent some money. Like I'm talking <laughs> like 20, 30 grand um to put their face because it's a contract. You don't just put your face on one billboard. They they give it to you for a few months and it's it's a it's a good amount amount of money. And I'm looking at this billboard and I'm like, damn, I know he ain't capturing a ton of leads from that. Like I already know it, but the exposure that this guy is getting is priceless because now I see that guy and it's on a busy inter- it's on a busy street. So although people, thousands and thousands of people are driving by it every day, although they're not necessarily picking up their phone and calling him, they see his face. And that right there to a lot of us is worth it. You know, and that's why how I look at these videos, I'm like, okay, if a ton of leads ain't coming in just yet, the fact that thousands of people are seeing you in that yellow blouse, that yellow shirt like that, that's priceless. Like people are seeing you and you're, they're, they're getting familiar with your face and, and you don't even know that, you know what I mean? Like there's value to that, mm-hmm. you know? So, so keep, keep wearing things like that, like bright colors that stand out, like that's a good look and, and, and people people gravitate and they remember that. Oh, that really means a lot. You know, it's funny, I'm gonna hit on two points. One is I just did a uh, a coaching call and he was re- referring to direct mail. Mm-hmm. And he was like, always use a yellow background. I don't know what it is, but something about a yellow mm-hmm. background mm-hmm. with black text or blue text mm-hmm. just works. Can't explain it, psychological thing, but it works. And I, I really had not had that um, coaching moment in, you know, until after I had already recorded this video with the blouse on. And then two, I want to say thank you because my comfort is black. <laughs> and my mother used to always say to me, you are a girl. Would you start wearing like purple and pink and green? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, um, you know, I really, I just want to say thank you because, you know, I, I don't always need uh, validation, but in this case, because I'm, I'm so outside of what I would typically do to attract new business or to, you know, mm-hmm. take up market share um, in my market, I could use that kind of confirmation yes. that, hey, you know, this, 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 this one's popping through. Yes, us. it looks good really job, good. So appreciate it. Appreciate Watch, it. But look at it in the newsfeed. Look at, look at how it looks in the newsfeed. Click on edit oh, right below the that. title. Go back to edit, right? Yep. It's always on the third tab. So on the third tab, that's where you click on edit and then you can hit that drop down in the in the right corner of it. So right below, right above. Yeah, right in the up. Yeah, that one. Click on that one and then just go to Facebook desktop newsfeed and and look at how it pops in the newsfeed. And again, this is this is why we we went manual manual placement. We unchecked everything else so all the budget can go right here in the newsfeed. So as people are scrolling through, they just see that yellow and it just it just sticks out you know so i love that i love that click on learn more go in and test that button oh yeah yeah bam there it is there money shot right there (laughs) oh that's a money shot you got it so let this one rock d and then let's chat um this one's set to go live on on tuesday right tuesday on tuesday Uh, the 28th 29th something i forget 29th yeah so let that one, let that one, let that one go. And then let's chat. When do you want to chat? Let's chat. Um, let's, let's review this one on, on, let's see, it's going to go Tuesday. Let's, let's, let's chat. Well, let's chat. Let's chat next Thursday. Let's chat next Friday. Let's chat next Friday, the second. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Cause we're, 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 we're I can't speak. We are reviewing the um, traffic. Ad. Remember, we we have that one running consecutive too. Well, not really consecutive, yeah. but it's going to run until we extended it until um, Monday, I believe. So yeah, Friday Friday is a good brief, and then I'll have another video up so we can decide Perfect. where we go from there. If we want to extend something or or run a new one. Sounds good. Do you same t- same time Friday. Yep, works for me. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs>